So I'm streaming on Twitch. Tune in, bro. I'm uploading as soon as I'm done with the video, too. No edits. Up church out here talking trash about my little reaction channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? I be out here doing my thug thizzle. Hey, Jared, go ahead and talk. You can't talk either because you timed out, you dumb bitch. Uh-huh. Look at you. Mm-hmm. Bro, can't you talk no more. Hey, YouTube, y'all don't know this. I'm, I just say I'm streaming on Twitch. I just packed up on uh, Jera. Somebody in my Twitch chat. Nigga's stupid. Bro, retarded. He, nigga, hey, he can't spell. Bro can't spell at all. You know what I'm saying? Bro been out of school for a week and three days. He said it. You know what I'm saying? He can't spell breathe. The nigga can't spell stupid. The nigga is retarded. He is. You know what I'm saying? But out here talking trash. Hey, shut up, bro. You got an outro, intro this long? What up, Skins? What y'all doing? I hope y'all ready for the show in Nashville. I know your boy is. Right now, I'm sitting here looking at the set list, and I'm looking at which songs I want to tell a small story about and which ones have a life lesson because I like to speak to the younger crowd while I'm at my shows, especially being in the position that I'm in and being – a person that's gone through a lot of shit over the years. I think it's only right for somebody that has that many people in front of them to be able to, you know, kind of encourage or give advice. And how I do it is I'll do it right before a song that correlates with a certain life lesson or a certain piece of advice. Usually I just wing it though and it, it takes up too much time and I don't want to feel like I'm rambling or something taking up y'all's time that, you know, y'all could be listening to a song and I definitely don't want nobody to be like, Shut up and sing the fucking song already. Mm -hmm. So, I want to sit here and dive I'll in say before it. the show. And I'm done doing that. Next thing. So, reaction pages. I got some advice for you, bro. Actually, first, I got one thing I want to say. So, I watched uh, Cliff Beat's reaction of Blue Jeans 2. Thank you, by the way. And I noticed he said, like, that a bunch of my supporters were... Like antagonizing him and being like, "Why you better do this? You better do this, bro." A lot of those people are not followers of me. They're actually people who hate me, who want to fucking ruin me. So don't listen to those people. Second off, not every reactor has to jump on my shit and instantly react to it, bro. Mm -hmm. There's other artists out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like they, yeah. Let them do what they want to do. I be saying the Speaking same thing, bro. To all you reaction pages out there that are starting off and being like, man, these people think I ain't reacting to it good enough, this, that, and the other. Man, do your own thing. Right, do your own thing. You know what I say? If I was a reactor, I wouldn't break down jack shit. I would just say how the song makes me feel, or I would say uh, what the song reminds me of, or makes me think of, or makes me reminisce about. How do you see? I ain't never, I ain't say none of that. Me. I forgot, I was listening to Blue and Stupid Young. Hey, I said Stupid Young shouldn't even hop up in the studio. That's what I said. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, I got a whole bunch of dislikes on there. I like it, too. How do you feel about the song? How does the song make you actually feel? Like, fuck breaking the bars down. How does it make you feel? Just say that. Just say how you feel by listening to it. Have fun with it. If somebody's bitching, being like, oh, you didn't break down this bar. Well, I'm sure there's a reaction page that loves breaking down I say the same thing. I say the same thing. Not everybody breaks down every bar. Some people hey. just like to fucking vibe. That's me. That's me. That's me. Look at, hey, I'm not breaking down a bar unless that bitch is on the screen. Unless that lyric is on the screen. Hey, that's the only way I can. I, hey, that's the only way I'm going to catch it. What's going on, Beatbox? See, because everybody makes music different. But also, people listen to music different. So if you're a reaction page and you like just vibing to the song, do exactly that. If you're one of those people that can break down every single bar and catch everything, then do that. That ain't because me. Because then look, then you have two separate kinds of reaction pages. I'd just be Not chilling. Not every reaction page could be the same. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any reaction pages. There'd be like five. What you watching? This Up church little reaction channels and give. He out here giving advice, bro. I'm making a little quick little YouTube video too. I'm posting this, so say say hey YouTube, man. Listening to music is something you should be comfortable doing, not something that feels like a job. And last thing about reaction pages, well, really this is about anybody that has a YouTube account in general. Now, some people might disagree, but this is my personal opinion. Give Don't let take. any viewers change how you do stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's called you, you, tube for a reason. It's because it's a tube of who you are.
YouTube. And if you do make changes to your YouTube account, make sure they're on your accord. It's because you're excited to change something. It's because it's just flat out something you want to do. I mean, otherwise, they should have named it them. Oh, yeah, I know, nigga. Hey, I listen to one artist and I say, yeah, GG's. I ain't listen to that nigga no more. GG's to him. I can't do it. One, Hey, one and done for me. Mm-mm. Oh, man, bro gonna spam songs, too, up in the comments. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's your cup of tea, that ain't mine. Mm-mm. -mm. That's not a good name. Now, aside of music and aside of reactors, let's just talk about YouTube in general. YouTube has changed a lot over the years. Social media in general has changed a lot. Yeah, it's soft now. YouTube specifically used to be a different place. It was. It used to be a place where it was legit a person in a room or a person somewhere doing something they enjoyed, like we were talking about a second ago. Back then in YouTube, it, wait, it's 2024. It was like 2014, 2015. There was Kason TV, GTA YouTuber, Kason TV, and K-More uploading GTA in the hood vids, right? They, out here, they can't post the same vids like they used to back in the day. YouTube, hey, they're going to strike that bitch down quick. You know what I'm saying? All that cussing gang role play? Mm-mm. YouTube ain't rocking with that. YouTube's off. And it didn't seem like it was this mainstream engine. If you notice now, everything is kind of like cable TV. For real. You used to get on YouTube and you could find these humans who had vibrant personalities. What's going, Abigail? Just didn't care. They were just no, doing their own world, doing their own thing. Which was fun. You found unique people that way. Uh, that's how solid groups or communities of people got formed on the just internet. Woke up. There was no cancel culture. There was I've no been up. shadow banning. There was no mainstream. I've been up since I did take a little nap. I took like a 30 minute nap at six o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Entity on YouTube that was like trying to cover up other <coughs> creators and be like, what? They don't exist. <coughs> While the person they're covering up being like, they don't exist. They're taking shit from them and just making the carbon copy of it. There was no popularity contest. There was just people who were Where you from? popular and they really did. South Carolina, big 843. Yes, sir. Didn't care that they were popular. They were just <coughs> in their own world doing their own thing. Now it's, it's more like, hi and welcome to another episode of... And it's like, yeah. hey, y'all see how Up Church just said that? What you mean? Hey, what I was saying? But, um, hi, welcome to, bro. Some people on YouTube, they be all energetic and stuff. I can't do that. If I ever do that, hi, hi, YouTube, bro. That, that's fake. That is fake. I ain't never in my life sound like that. Unless I'm trolling. Unless I'm trolling, but I can't do that. My voice, my voice, my voice ain't energetic at all. I got a type of voice, bro. Somebody might fall asleep just hearing me talk, to be honest. But that was on the TV. We, why, we don't want it here, too. Pretty much what I'm saying is it used to be something fun. Mm -hmm. Now we get on there, and it's fucking uh, the war and fucking Pakistan. War and fucking bad stuff. And he's, he, this guy is fucking stupid, fucking idiot, fucking dumb fuck. You fuck stream daily? Him. War. No, and not I like I used to. Some folks, it's like, well, you do that I need too, to, though. Church. Yeah, but... It's still the old school way, though. Like I need somebody to. can do something fucking horrible to me, I'm just gonna make fun of them, make it funny, make it where people laugh. I've had people I do try same to thing. sue me for millions of dollars. I've had people try to fucking slap me with some fucking insane allegations. I don't threaten them. I, I just make fun of them because it's the internet, and that's what I'm used to. It's just cracking back, you know. It changed. Talking so trash. Fast. Yeah. Bro, in the Vine days, bro, man. <clears throat> Talk about having fun. This was the active Near. internet era. I'm like, straight I right now. driving to Georgia and staying the night with Jamie Hussey and Tasia Alexis for fucking days. Just hanging out and fucking making content. Like making funny videos, having a good time, going out to eat with each other. I don't other. know them. I remember standing in Jamie Hussey's driveway, dude, in Georgia. Sun's going down. We're just outside, walking around, bouncing back and forth ideas. Fucking uh, helping each other film our little pieces to our Vine videos. Like, where did that go? And why did it stop? Dude, the community of the internet. I mean, it all went to TikTok now. That's where it went. Back then was cool. I, the Vine conventions, bro. I remember everybody used to go to Mike Tyson's <coughs> house. They'd have like a fuck ton of Vine people there. And it was everybody just hanging out. Once again, just hanging out, doing cool shit, and helping each other film, and having a good time. That era of the internet is been extinct for a minute it's Everyone on tiktok angry. i wouldn't say that everybody's angry everybody's sad 
And it don't That's what I be saying, man. Like, bro, why can't we just hug each other and dap each other up and go on a little nice picnic and talk to each other? All nice. You know what I'm saying? People want to just talk, just be mean. Say I'm a, I'm the most annoying reactionist, all this, that, and third. Why can't you just give me a hug and talk about peace, love, and, and prosperity? You know what I'm saying? Like, great shots, my brother. Calm down. Have to yeah. be like that. And current time on the internet don't have to be like that. It just is. <clears throat> People are just okay with it, I guess. For myself, at least, you know, being intertwined oh. with oh, content boy. creating for 10 plus years. You know, I remember when me and a Mary King was like the only people making videos on Facebook, dude. Remember that? Remember a Mary King back in the... I got clips. I don't even know who that is, but I got clips on um, my stream. Not even streams. Me going on Omega. Oh, my goodness. So I post that on Facebook. I can't. I got to make a whole nother Facebook if I decide to post content on there. Today, Shelby Silverado. Oh, them were the days, dude. I got cold chills, bro. But here's the thing. It's not extinct all the way. If you ask me personally for blue collar people who I personally think is the best <clears> and the most nostalgic with the way they do their videos and how funny they are and the character that they have for it, I think the best person for blue collar people, if not one of the best on the internet, is Ginger Billy. And look at him. He's just being himself. That's Who is it. that? He is still doing YouTube the old school way that it used to be done. And dude's killing it. Dude is killing it, bro. He could have his own fucking comedy show. But look, he sticks to YouTube. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Also, the internet has evolved to misconstrue what the real world is. There's a huge amount of information on the internet <laughs> that is not actual information <laughs> in real life. But people are taking this internet information and they are assuming that it's true or they are applying it to when they shut the camera off and they go out into the real world and that's their idea of the world is everything that's on here. But what you got to realize is, is this is not a fun toy no more. This is an effective tool. Oh, that I know. Really big companies are using oh, I to know. change your perception of the world. Oh, I to know. To change your perception of people. To change your perception of a certain place. Now, why is it being done? I don't know. Probably something that has to do with money. I mean, done everything in bad having to do with money. Like I said, I don't know why, but you don't have to know why to see that it's already happened and been happening and happening more and more and more. I guess that's where the saying it is what it is comes in, but it only is what it is because we make it what it is. The atmosphere our world has is up to us collectively. But with that being said, look, everyone's being picked apart individually. Why? Because we've been programmed to be able to, I guess, think we're being picked apart. When hey, up, church, bro. What a spiritual music at, at in the background, man. I need a little astral projection music up in the background. So, oh, now you being... Up, church just said, uh, be nice, bro. Jarrah, you gonna come in here and stop being a... See, uh, oh, YouTube. That's Jarrah right there. That's the nigga that can't spell stupid and breathe. You know what I'm saying? Bro's retarded. <laughs> But Ultra just said, stop, uh, well, I just said for us to be nice, be family friendly. You want to come in here and start, start cussing at me? what I do to you? I didn't say anything to you. Really not. If somebody looks at a person and goes, this is wrong and this is wrong. Now you can spell stupid, you dumbass nigga. Bro, now this you can wrong, spell. This is wrong. Now you can spell since I said something about it. Bro, hey. And then, you know, people on the internet are like, yeah, wrong, wrong, wrong. And you are not going to be the authentic you you was that had nothing wrong with you. You're going to end up a version that now fits this other person's blueprint of what good is. And now you're being somebody you are not, which is actually bad for you. It's not good. That's the thing. Why do these certain people on the internet tell you this? Oh, what you're doing is bad. What you're doing is wrong. Because you're a threat to them. You're too resilient. Imagine. You're too creative. You're too, your imagination. I got hurt. <laughs> bro, that's, uh, Jerry, I can tell it, bro. <laughs> that's how I know you're a kid. You, you are stupid. Nation's too big. Oh, my goodness. You're too fucking unique. You're too authentic. They don't like how. I, YouTube, he almost cried. I kid you not, this nigga is retarded. Jerry is the dumbest nigga on earth. Your family should be ashamed of themselves for having a kid like you. They, go, they gotta wake up and just be like, damn, 
I might just off myself today for having a dumb kid like you. My goodness, nigga. Let me just walk out into the street and just say GG. Just GG. Nigga, I, I raised Jerry as a fucking son. My son's a bitch. Nigga, that's what, that's, what your, that's what your parents think. My son is dumb as fuck. That's what your family think, bro. Your pops, your mama, they ain't gonna say it to you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that, they ain't gonna say it to you, Jerry. But your ass is retarded. You dumb as shit. I ain't gonna lie. You are retarded. Yeah, and guess what? <laughs> You're banned, you dumb bitch. <laughs> You're done. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, Twitch. I said Twitch. Hold on, where my Twitch at? Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, where you at? <laughs> where you at? Hold on. Where you... Untime him out? Hold on. Oh, that band button looking good, huh? No, oh, it still say timed out. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Oh, that band. Hey, who's band so? Oh, man. What's going on, Savar? How authentic <laughs> and unique and resilient you yeah, are. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. You soft ass nigga. Look at you. All right. Once again, what's Who getting banned? That faggot ass nigga right there, Jarrah. Reason? I don't know. Probably. Oh, you love a good band. I do too. I do too. I do it quick. I do it quick. Probably money. Probably, probably their business. If you're cooler than this motherfucker standing I'm on YouTube. Oh my goodness. I gotta cut that out. Over here, you're gonna get more business. Even though you don't care about the business, they do. That's why they're mad in the first place. Savar. Jarrah, scroll up in these uh, Twitch chat. Jarrah couldn't spell stupid. Jarrah couldn't spell stupid. He said I. Read his last sentence. Read the ones before that too. He he can't spell stupid. Breathe. He meant a. He meant a. But he's spelling I. Savar, this nigga is retarded. Why do you think I seclude myself from everyone? I almost cried. One. <laughs> okay. The they're like, oh yeah, dude, no one hangs out with you. No motherfucker, I don't hang out with no one. <laughs> don't get it fucking twisted. I do that on purpose because the past four years, everybody's been after what. My money. After what? My cosign. After what? My channel's here. viewers. Mm -hmm. They even want you guys. And it's like, if you were doing the damn thing, you would have your own all of those. You wouldn't need a cosign. You wouldn't <laughs> need nothing. That's Bruh, hey. I don't know why you keep playing with, um... I'm not just next. I already told you, bro. You don't play around with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not him. Now you keep you keep saying that nigga. I'll ban you for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I am not EDP. I'm not just nags. Your ass will get packed up. And stay banned too. Make a whole nother account, bro. Go on with your day. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Watered down content creators getting with non-watered down content creators. What does that do? It waters down both of you. This motherfucker's already watered down, but it also waters you down too. And why does this watered down content creator want to water you down? Because they don't care if you're watered down or not. They just want some money. They just want to sell a fucking shirt. They want to money. And so the outcome of whatever they would make was not watered down. It was actually stronger. It is. <laughs> and it, is. it made people want to hang out and create. Not just not just have five content creators with one solid content creator with five other ones being like, bro, I can't wait to get these followers. Uh-oh, an acorn. Everyone run. But anyway, I'll leave you on this. An acorn sound like that in your crib, man? Gracious. What did I say at the end of 2023? I don't I know. Said 2024, all the phony ass wannabe content creators are going to fall apart. Mm. The only ones that are gonna survive. Or people that actually want to create content for people to watch to make people's. Hey, I'm gonna hop into my little content creating bag in my second, bro. I will do it once I once I uh, take editing serious <laughs> again when I want to, cause I get tired halfway through. But once I take it serious, bro, I'm straight. I'm straight. Life better to make people laugh, to make people to give advice. Those are the ones I said. This is the year of the bosses. Yeah. Big dog, yeah. Yonko, man. Emperor Ty, yeah. Yeah, I that look like zero. Shit all the time, way in advance. By the way, been doing it for years. So, what's the future of the internet look like? What's the future of content creating look like? What do I think's gonna happen? Here's what I think's gonna happen. How do you say this? I think we're about to get the second wave. I spelled YouTube wrong in my name. YouTube is not in my name. Oh my 
is of the greatest time period of the internet in the past. When it comes to content. YouTube is not in my name. You are retarded. And I think when this... Jared is fucking retarded. I kid you not. Jared is... Oh my gosh. I ain't never met a nigga this slow. I ain't never met a nigga this slow. Savar, you... I kid you, bro. This nigga is retarded. This nigga is retarded. This... Oh, my, this nigga's slow. He's slow. He is slow. It's Ty. It is Ty. You spell YouTube wrong in your name. It's Yonko Ty. Oh, my goodness. This nigga is retarded. And I'm not finna edit this vid at all. You are slow. You need your education. That little week and three days that you had, that you've been going from school, you need to go back. You, you gotta go back. Go back now. You need to. Oh my gosh, you need to. Quote, unquote, second wave comes in. I think a few things are going to happen. I think we're going to see content creators that have been missing for a while come back. I think it's going to remind people what... K-More, my favorite YouTuber, bro. You genuine, do. good content looks like. And honestly, I think it's going to separate the ones who are in it for the money and the ones who are in it because this is their personality. And I think the atmosphere of the internet is going to go to a better state than it has been. And I think it's going to make the atmosphere of the world a better place than it has been. Imagine me doing something on YouTube for money. My, my little YouTube checks $100. 135 max. If I, you know what I'm saying? If it's like that for the month. But still, 135, that's not much. It's some, but still. Yes, yeah, Savar, don't don't argue with him. Nay, he's lost. <laughs> he's lost. That's don't do I that. I mean, this is the portal to the atmosphere of the world. So, if everything I just said happens, and then that's probably what's going to happen. And then when that happens, and then the ratings get the response they do. Then after that happens, there'll either be a revamp of an old app like Vine, or there'll be another person come along that creates a app better or really close to what Vine was. Then when that happens, these other apps that have been pushing all this war, Ukraine, war, death, bad stuff, they're gonna fall off or start to fall off. All the attention's gonna go to this new app that is hearing exactly what I'm saying. And then when that happens. Rumble, Rumble, Rumble talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I post a Rumble, Rumble talk about it. It's gonna force all the other apps to get rid I wasn't on Vine like that, I ain't gonna lie. Rid of the trash. And then when that happens, long story short, people will go to individual independent content creators for entertainment. And they'll stop going to some big mainstream channel. And that's going to affect these big companies. What's Odyssey? What is that? And we'll probably go through a small period where everybody's like, man, there's nothing being made. But it's only because people are going to have to refine all oh. the good shit again. But once they do, it's game over. And I have a feeling the next big app that gets made Rumble. is not going to be influenced by investors. I think this... Hey, Rumble is like that. I'm going to end the video off right here, too. It's only a minute left. I'm going to end the video off right here. But Rumble is like that. Jera, shut up. Don't you say another word to me. Rumble is like that. Only because, bro, Rumble... I posted a whole album reaction. It got blocked on YouTube. I post full reactions on Rumble. And it don't get copyrighted. It is like that, bro. I love it. I love it. Go ahead, like, comment, sub, bro. Sub up. Dislike the vid, too, if you didn't like it. I'm streaming. Y'all met this little dumbass nigga right here named Jera up in the Twitch chat. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's slow. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead, like, comment, sub up. Road to 3.6K, man. Yes, sir. Bro, shut up.